Good evening. Nearly two months ago, Superstorm Sandy struck the East Coast and residents are still trying to clean up. Volunteers from our area headed out almost immediately and people up and down the coast were there lending a helping hand. Tina Shively takes a look back. Over $40 billion. That's what state leaders estimate it will cost to clean up after Superstorm Sandy. In the days following the historic storm, the shock of what coastal communities endured was just starting to sink in. Just weeks into her first semester at NYU in Lower Manhattan, Fairport native Allie Waxman hunkered down with friends in her dorm room. Like the front of our building is all glass on the ground floor, and I looked outside, and just like the wind was whipping, and trees were going everywhere, so it was a little scary. As of last night, with the New York City shelter. Fear was never a factor for area Red Cross volunteers. Henrietta resident Sarah Perkins responded to supervise hundreds of them at the agency's White Plains headquarters. It was her 30th deployment, but certainly not her last. Why do you do this? <laughs> Why not do this? Who's going to? I love to do what I do. I love to help people. I think we all say that. But to be able to come up alongside somebody and tell them they're not alone, that's priceless. Dozens of Rochester area firefighters, also eager to help, made the 400-mile trip to Freeport in Nassau County. All they, project, we're gonna be looking for they left just two days after the storm ravaged Long Island. You know, there's houses that have been demolished. There's boats that have crashed into houses. There's house, there's there's empty lots where, where houses and people's lives used to be, and, and they're gone. Uh, 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 they handled all sorts of calls, from house fires to going door to door to check on families. When Sandy tangled a cherished flag belonging to a Vietnam veteran around a power line, the crew was there to return it to its rightful and gracious owner. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. We're going to make it. We're Americans. Gop us America. More teams of Monroe County firefighters made the trip to Freeport in the following weeks, but they wanted to do more. They led a stuff the truck donation drive. Eight other agencies in Greece helped gather the goods. This may look like a lot of hard work, but it's not done. All of these boxes need to be loaded onto a truck headed for Long Island. We started out thinking, are we going to be able to fill a 17-foot box truck? And now we've moved up to a 27-foot box truck. It took about 20 firefighters from both departments nearly an hour to unload the truck in Freeport. Charities will now handle distribution. Two months after Sandy left 8.5 million homes without power and killed 125 people, recovery efforts continue. Leaders are impressed at how New Yorkers continue to come together in this time of tragedy. I tell you, people have come from all across the state and just showed up. And I've run into them on the street and they'll say, you know, I'm from Buffalo, I'm from Rochester, I'm from the North Country. But uh, we are a beautiful community of New York at the end of the day. And that's, if there's a silver lining, that was a pleasure to see. Tina Shively, News 8.